so this video um, is going to be a an update on um, how my phobias are doing uh, what I mean by phobias um, how the phobias that I'm going to talk about right now is phobias um, I never had before um, phobias I never experienced before till I started having um, panic disorder so here, here it goes so the first one would be um, phobia of the fear of having fear you know you fear you're scared of being scared you're scared of losing control um, I don't know what each phobia the name for each phobia is um, but I will find a link for a list of phobias and um, put them down in the description box below um, what I mean by being scared of being scared meaning I'm scared of what if I'm scared of random things that I was never scared of before uh, you know one thing is being home alone with um, panic attacks I was scared of being home alone with panic attacks um, for months for a couple months I couldn't be home um, alone it didn't matter if I was home alone for five minutes ten minutes an hour two hours whatever it might be I was scared even for five minutes um, so whenever someone say they had to go somewhere for like an hour for like you know a doctor's appointment or what or whatever um if they tell me one week in advance i'm okay but if they remind me over and over for that one week like you know on the first day they'll remind me and then the second day third day fourth day fifth day sixth day seven days straight you know into the day that they're leaving and come and tell me hey i'm leaving right now oh you know and i won't be home to for an hour or longer right and um that adds up to to my anxiety i'll have anxiety for that for the whole week i'm just gonna in my mind every day i'm just gonna wake up okay i have six more days to i'm home alone for an hour you know five more days four more days three do three two one more days you know stuff like that and then each day um my body would just get completely tense each day I would get more fear more fear more fear it's like it's like okay I I can't wait till that day is here so I can get so I can finally you know say okay I've been I I'm home alone for an hour and then get used to it but no I it took me um months and months but actually I think it took me over half a year just or maybe half a year just to be in home alone with with um, the panic disorder um, I apologize I'm wearing sunglasses because I'm sitting right th I'm sitting outside my backyard and then um, the sun is like white right my face so I don't my eyes are kind of a little irritated um, at, at the moment too so um, so what I did so every time someone would have to go somewhere f f for that half a year or something that I was scared to be in home alone I would I would um I would sleep late. Let's say if someone had to go somewhere around let's say nine AM and they won't be home till like ten AM or later, I would sleep like a you know, I'll try my best not to fall asleep. I'll try to fall asleep around maybe four or five AM and hoping by the time I wake up they're home, you know, um and most of the time by the time I wake up they're home or they're almost home like when I say almost home they'll be home in like um like less than a minute you know but if they say oh we'll, but if I wake up and I don't see them and I'm like just sitting there waiting and I'm uh, looking at the time and they stay home and get home in like a half an hour um you know I'm staying there looking at the time when I'm looking at the time it makes it worse because I'm I'm like in a hurry for for them to get home and you know that made it worse uh, it's like it's adding up more anxiety to me it's um it's making it harder for me to be at home alone you know um stuff like that sometimes when i'm home alone and i'm awake i'll just like you know i'll lay down i'll watch tv i have the tv on as background noise and i'll like i'll play something on on my ipad like music or something so it's like so it make it sound like there's more than one person at home 
you know even though I know it's just the sound from my TV and from my um, iPad you know that way I in my mind I'm tricking my mind that I'm not home alone but at the same time it's it's just making me more fearful more anxiety about being home alone um, so what did I do to to not have that phobia anymore well um, the more I was the more they tell me oh we're going somewhere you know the more uncomfortable I got but I realized slowly when I would wake up and I know then at home I'll walk around the house and then I realized like oh my god I've been home by myself for like half an hour an hour and nothing happened I didn't panic sometimes when they go somewhere I will even look outside see them t driving off and I'll just wave by and and see the you know I just go back to my room I'll just walk around the house I'll just like you know I'll just watch TV um, watch something on YouTube not to keep my mind busy but just to do the things I used to do when I used to be home alone like when I used to work um, and there were days I, I was home alone because I used to work at night and I'll get home around 7 and you know sometimes my parents had to go had to go somewhere like doctor's appointment or whatever I'm home alone for a couple hours when my girlfriend is at work and you know my daughter's at school my brother's not home my, my sister's not home so, you know things like that and then um and then I'm okay because you know I'm doing the things I used to do before I have a panic disorder so that's how I no longer have that phobia um, another phobia I had um, I think it's kind of actually it's the same kind of phobia um, I guess you can say but you know I mentioned this before so so couple of people asked me how come um, it was so hard for me to take a shower um, it's because you know I had my my dirt panic attack at while I was taking a shower so I got really dizzy you know, um, feel like I was on the boat. Um, I felt like I was being pulled left to right. You know, it's like I felt like my body didn't know where it was in space. You know, it's like, um, you know, how your ears and your eyes, you know, they're connected to your brain. Every part of your body is connected to your, to your brain, to your nerves and, and whatnot. Um, so I feel like my eyes were seeing one thing, my ears was like, doing something else and my foot was doing something else so each three things didn't know where they were so it's like I feel like I was like just no I wouldn't say vertical it just felt like I was like kind of like trying to balance myself it just felt like my body was like in a curve like it didn't know what it was doing you know um, that's how I felt when I was taking a shower so that's why it was so hard for me to to take a shower because every time I would take a shower instantly. I would think, what if I was at home alone and I was taking a shower? And then, you know, what if it gave me flashbacks of my panic attacks, you know? Um, so that kind of ties up with the fear of having, being alone and having the fear of the fear itself. You know, you're scared of your, you're scared of your own mind. You know, you, you're scared of what your brain is telling you. Um, another thing, uh, I had another phobia I had was um, going to not just the bathroom wherever I had a panic attack I I could have had a I feel panicky um, in my living room a couple of times I felt panic attack had a panic attack in the kitchen in the hallway you know places like those I sometimes when I'm walking to those places. I feel panicky because inside my subconscious mind, it remembers what happened. I'm not going to blame my subconscious mind itself, but I blame myself because I'm reminding myself what I'm scared of. So every time I'm scared of something, um, my subconscious mind remembers. And then if I go to the kitchen sometime and, my, and I'm like, oh, I hope I don't feel dizzy. And then my mind would be like, instantly, he's going to you should feel dizzy because you felt panic attack there before you know it's like it's that m memory that you have wherever you have a panic attack um 
there's times I'll go to the kitchen, I'll get so dizzy, but you know, I'm okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna get what I need to get and just go back to my room or wherever I work. Um, another thing I, another phobia I had was fearing of falling down, you know, if I'm dizzy, you know, um, I, I had a hard time eating anywhere away from my bed. If I eat in the kitchen, I always felt like I was swaying left and right. So I ate in my room, on my bed. Even though I can still feel it, but I felt safer in my room. So by me doing things like that, I I was so fearful of leaving my room. I was bed winning, you know. I, could, I would go to the bathroom on, to use the bathroom because you have to use the bathroom and stuff, but you know, I was scared. You know, it's, it's embarrassing to say you're scared to use the bathroom, to take a shower when no one's home. That's another thing I was scared to take a shower when no one's home. Uh, but now I'm okay. If, if I'm dizzy, um, I get upset stomach, I'm going to take a shower. But I, every little steps that I do um, really decrease my phobia. You know, um, I don't really have a hard time leaving my house anymore, as you can see. However, I'm st I'm still somewhat housebound because, you know, you can see me leaving my house every day, going for a walk, um, going to a store, going for a bike ride, going for a car ride or driving the car. But there are places that I st I can't go into because. I still feel like I'm disconnected from the place because, you know, um, noisy environments, bright lights, and stuff like that give me a sensory overload. What I mean by sensory overload is I can't handle too much noise, too much different colors, too much brightness and stuff like that. I cannot handle that too well. Um, the noise I can handle, but if it's mixing with like too much noise, too much colored bright light stuff like that um you know busy patterns like on the carpet um if i'm looking at something with stripes you know like curtains with stripes bed sheet with stripes sometimes i'm looking at it i feel like the stripes are moving for whatever reason so you know even though i'm sitting here in my backyard i'm looking at my fence right now i feel like i'm tilting towards one side i feel like my the fence is tilting but i'm but the, the ground doesn't feel like it's tilted, and, and that kind of trips me out at times. But, you know, as far as my other phobias, um, you know, I, I'm still having a hard time trying to drive my car. You know, my car is the first place I have my panic attack. So that's why I have a hard time being in my car. Uh, I mean, I can sit in the car for 10, 15 minutes in my car, but I'm not driving it. Before, I couldn't even look at my car, I couldn't even go near my car, I couldn't even sit in my car without having an instant panic attack or flashback. Um, you know, but I also start feeling depressed because of my phobias, you know, like uh, who wants to be scared of leaving the house, who wants to be scared of taking a shower, who wants to be scared of being home alone, you know. Um, and then I had a phobia of, of eating. What I mean by that is I was scared what if I eat something and I would get sick. Um, you know, like I mentioned, I, I always had the phobia of um, throwing up. You know, that I always had that ever since I was young. I didn't have panic attacks at the time. So that phobia um, won't go away, you know, on its own like, like I wish, but you know, there's times that it doesn't bother me and there are times that I can't handle it. So it's, it's kind of like a work in progress, but being home alone, I can handle. You know, taking a shower when no one's home, I can handle. Leaving my house, I can handle. It's just the places I can't go. Um, I can't eat. I haven't been able to go somewhere and then stay there and eat. I had to go order takeout. You know, um, when I'm going for walks, bike rides, car rides, um, most of the time I'm going on my own. Sometimes my daughter will be with me, sometimes my niece, sometimes both my daughter and my niece, sometimes my neighbor. But um, I'm trying to do things on my own, like, you know,
two things that I used to do on my own. You know, like I mentioned this, I used to work graveyard um, for a couple months. I would work graveyard on my own. You know, no one was in a hundred thousand square feet building besides myself. So, you know, that those are, those are the things that I used to be able to do on my own. So I'm trying to do those things on my own once again. I'm also trying to look for a job. Anyways, um, I'm about to head back inside right now and eat my lunch.